Okay, round two, and that was, you know, some very convincing results by Blue Team. But again, one thing I'm seeing here is the very, very convincing argument of using things such as sentries. Um, the thing with sentries is they, they are really, really damn handy, and a good network of them is very hard to defeat. I mean, traditionally, these kind of maps, what happens is, is that the team defends the sentries, keeps things away from them, falls back to the sentries for support, like ammo, healing, and you know, wherever the sentry nest has got there. And let the sentry take up the slack. Also, the sentry just keep an eye out for things like bonk scouts and spies and stuff. So it's really helpful to have that kind of double defense. Now, anyway, let's see what happens if we now take the defending team and put them in the attack. Uh, to be fair, though, is no, I don't know what's going to happen here. This could be very interesting because the last attacking team was very, you know, aggressive. They might have a good front line, but they might be so good trying to hold things. Harry the Stingray there, very eager, going nowhere soon. You are admire a boxing heavy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hands on the nope, nope, nope. All the nope. And right now though, Red is really keeping out Blue Team. Blue Team aren't getting out. And there goes Bo Bonk Scout, Bot Killer, trying his best, and shot into a corner. That was unlucky. But now here's the thing: what you might want to consider doing, uh, Bonk Scout with Sentry like that. Get in between, get uh, on the other side of the engineer and the sentry. Put this, put the uh, en engineer between you and the sentry. What happens is the sentry will try and shoot you and kill its own engineer. Very handy because a stranded sentry is actually strangely vulnerable. Now we're back to the game. And who's up front there? It's Mum. Gives him a bit of bother there. That was a lot. He'll take on three soldiers at once there. I mean, he's good, but he's not three soldiers good. Alert. The control point is being contested. Okay, there. Pro, pro, uh, ledge finding skills. And yep, that's the power of not being seen at work. Oh, that's very interesting. What is going on with Blue right now? That is um. Alert. Yes, that's some back cap and scumbaggery right there. Good. Let the let the bullshit flow through you. First point is getting taken. Is it looking real? Okay, there it goes. Have to say though, Myrtle there. This is looking like if he's got a fucking pain train, I'll be so happy. And the thing is, the new thing with this map is that they changed the door structure. So they've got some guys lying at the back here. Okay, back to 2 minutes 25. Blue really need to take the first point. And yeah, unfortunately, try-harding does happen when I get involved. Um, some say it ruins the game. Some say it improves the flavour. Ah, no. Maybe. Rocket spam. I, 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 I declare to you, use Ubers and the short circuit. Seriously, use a short circuit. It's banned in competitive games for a reason. Namely because it destroys the pretty much causes you know, soldier butt hurt right there because they love being able to kill anything in the game and having that taken away from them really really hurts. Now are blue gonna get take the point? Maybe. Jeffy boy, what the hell are you doing up there? There you go, okay, can they cap this? And there goes, there goes Mum. Okay, looks like the first point is gonna get taken. One defiant soldier. Tr oh no! And dies hitting the floor. Time has been added. And is that thing coming back? Oh no! Oh, it looks like that little plan that Blue had kind of went to shit. I don't know what happened, but maybe they got found out. Now, for the moment, though, it does look like Altor BG has managed to, you know, get into gear straight away. So this is looking good. I like a fast engineer. Also, Oki's found a nice little position up there. That would be an excellent little sentry nest up there, actually. Um, if you can get a rocket jumping engineer up there, it's got a lovely high angle. People hate high angles on the sentry, so they can't hit enough of the sentry base and 
stuff like that. It overlooks that front door completely, and you might get the range on the second door. That's a that would be a lovely position for a sentry at the moment. Myrtle there, being sneaky, being shot in the face by Ginsu. The problem with you know trying to sneak while charging and yelling is that it's not sneaky. But you gotta respect his uh you know trying to be cunning. And you'll respect getting shot in the back of the head as well. Unfortunately, you know, seriously, the Egyptian team does sport two excellent snipers. Uh, you know, Tarek and Ginsu. I mean, back in the Steel League, they were terrors. <laughs> Doc, obvious spy is obvious. That was quite the charge there. I'm going to run up to this engineer. Ah, oh, where should I died? you got to be a little bit more obtuse about that. I mean, what I would have done is, as a spy, run up the stairs, run back to spawn. So it looks like you're going back for, you know, whatever, healing and that. Jump over the crates and approach Altor from behind. If you could, stand on his head, because that would work. I'm just saying, Altor, that's what could happen. It's not actually happening. Or is it? Now wait. Enough supposed spy works, but then back to the game. Now, two minutes on the clock. Blue is not doing well here. They are suffering a little. Maybe they need more medics. Maybe they need, more, maybe they need an engineer to get to the front. I don't know. I haven't been really paying attention too much this part of the game. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, no medics. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, no. There are three spies, but no medics. This is not helping. Now the problem I always get. The thing is for me, anybody who knows, see me play this game, will know that I rage quite hard in games. Not all the time. Only, only with the incompetent. Um, but it's when it's like, okay, we really need to push. Uh, we need more medics uh, to fix this problem. I'll play six sniper. It's like, oh, for God's sakes, can we actually have some medics? You know, kind of thing. The thing with it is, I mean, you do need them push against sentries, things like that. You need to get that push force in there. Wilnux there, going for that sentry once more, but that's the thing, Altor's on that. Red team are just keeping an eye out, you can't just sap this stuff up, you're going to have to destroy this thing manually. Ooh. Okay, Altor can get up there, but can he bring his sentry up with him? There's Brand Molvik. Taking out the minis. Minis aren't a great defensive thing on this game. Oh, oh there's um, Bramovic trying to use that triple shot capability. Oh, there's one down. Nicely done there. Now, all you need to do is not get shot. Oh, wait, he got shot in the face. That was unfortunate. Unfortunately, it does look like Blue Team is just getting shot in the face. Um, again, this is where you need the Ubers to stop getting shot in the face and perhaps counter snipers. This is not looking good for blue team. Um, I'm saying this now after the countdown. And that was a convincing win there for red team. I mean, they just pretty much used sentries, kept sentries alive, counterattacked a bit, and shot everybody in the face, seemingly. I blame Ginsu. Okay, I think we have time for another round. And look at the medals cabinet on blue team. 4 one 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 two one 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 one. Um, yes, uh, something is going on here. I don't know what's happening, but maybe I know the sheer amount of sniper firepower is giving everybody enough assist kills to get doms. I don't know. Um, Mission begins in 30 seconds. Unfortunately, yes, this is going to get uploaded. They all get uploaded unless there's a critical error with sound or something like that. <laughs> Mum going with the I am big boy hero defense. <laughs> now anyway, back to the game. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see how it will turn out. Oh, thank you very much, Broadcast Guys, for sticking around. Um, it's been fluctuating between 8 and 15. It's quite nice. And there's Gintsu straight away. Oh jeez, Harry the Stingray really, really trying to go with the um, you know boxing heavy setup. Very difficult, and this is not a map for it. To be fair, this isn't a heavy map at all, really. I mean, yeah, you can make heavies work here, but it, it's 
lots of open spaces, not too many small cramped environments. Very tricky at times. Ooh, <laughs> Tom there. Just trying to approach that heavy. This is where, you know, cloaking up first might be an idea. Try getting behind the entire team rather than coming from the side sometimes. It, it does work a little bit better that way. Oh, there goes again. Bram Mulvick with his patented stair jump strategy. Because the second time I've seen him do it now, which is like jump backwards onto the ledge and get behind the team who think you can't approach from that angle. I mean, it's tried and tested now. It's looking very good. Anyway, 6 minutes 20. Blue are doing very nicely. He's all looking cosy. Now, do Red have anything, you know, to declare? Harry the Stingray. He's going for it. Cue Superman music. He's looking good. Nope, and <laughs> Jeffy Boy pretty much just says no. <laughs> Got right up there. Just catches him and pretty much shotgun to the face. Now, from the looks of it, 5 minutes 37, and Red Team is defending nice so far. Um, as, is, as is tradition. I don't know what is, this point is strangely difficult, but actually it comes down to flanking. You've got to keep some guys at the main door, just to keep pressure on, but you've got to get guys around the side. And when you do that, um, you know, you can take out the sentries at long range and do all that kind of stuff. Once you set the sentries down, this, becomes, this point becomes a lot easier. I say a lot easier, but then... Also, Mum is taking the fight to the enemy once more. I'm sure this, this guy has that heavy rage going on. He's like, I must kill all the enemies. Finally, Harry the Stingray gets a kill! Two kills! <laughs> Superman mode engage! <laughs> oh, it, it, it warms cockles my heart to see a heavy a fist kill. Anyway, 4 minutes 31. Blue team are trying the front door. Mum's back. Again, though, it has been proven that shooting him in the face does cause lethal damage. And that's a lovely little sentry there from Kunmads. Actually, he's actually getting a lot of kills at that. That's a, uh, that is actually a very nice little sentry there. Very out of the way, you can't see it. It's an inward facing sentry. That's going to you know, get a lot of kills on that. <laughs> Let's see what's going on around here. And there goes Mum again. Oh, oh, that was lovely. There's Bam Bam. You think you think you have a medic? Well, no, no medic for you. But you know that, that. To be fair, that is the done thing in TF2. Take down the medics at any cost. You don't know if they've got an Uber or not, and you don't know if they're going to ruin everything. Let's put it this way: the golden strat in TF2, in my opinion, is the Sentry versus Uber Uber kind of. Paradox, not paradox, but uh, confrontation. Sentries are almost un indestructible killing machines. They're incredibly hard to take down and don't miss. And they have a ton of firepower. The only way to counter them is with by being invulnerable. Where you can do enough damage to them where they just simply die. So, this is the thing. The Uber is the best strategy in the game. And therefore, destroying medics and using sentries is your best bet in winning this game. On defence, that is not necessarily the true of like a five cap point where manoeuvre is required. So don't you know, don't word of gospel for every t map game type, but you use your attack, defence, and cart pushing. You're on for a winner there. Oh, Will Nux there gets just gets Ginsu. Um, 
<laughs> oh, Will Max on half the stairway as well. Oh, wow, this guy. That was a lovely stabbing spree right there. And, you know, melt into the shadows. That was nicely done. Uh, I don't know what it is today. The bl blue snipers are becoming seriously endangered species. Red spies are, on red sniper. Yeah, blue spies are becoming really endangered. Red sniper, red spies are doing a lovely job of just taking these guys down now. This is not looking good for blue team. One minute twenty-two on the clock, and they haven't really made a big push on the point yet. If they can get in and around, get some get some ubers going, this should be good. I say should. Should is magic word. One minute left. Are we going to see any of those famous pub pushes coming on? Will Blue suddenly fight up the strength of 10 teams and win the game? It's not looking good. Harry the Stingray, still dangerous. Oh, got so close to Mum there as well. That was a little bit worrying, actually. I think Mama actually lost half their health on that hit. I think a second hit on Mum there would have killed him, and you can care for those heavies for that reason. But actually, there is some spy rage going on right now, and the sentries, you know, engineers right now are doing a lovely job. I mean, look at them. They're like lovely like worker ants just going around with worker bees, and they're just going around building each other's sentries back up. It is lovely to watch. And I think that was an exemplary defense there from um, Red Team. They didn't lose control of that point whatsoever. Yeah, you know, nicely played. And I'm afraid that's all I have time for today, guys. But thank you very much. And now we're going to our after match assessment. Uh, where, you know, today I think the game was a very, very good example of how useful sentries are. Um, there's one right there. Um, the thing is with them is that they are incredibly good at you know, bolstering positions and you know you really should be using them and but then again the counter argument for that the medics didn't really turn up in this game you kind of need those to you know counteract that but anyway let's get to one of the favorite sections of this after commentary uh, analysis which is uh, who was MVP um, let me look around I'm, I'm thinking um, Oh, it's quite difficult because I think everyone's putting an equal amount of effort in. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to give it to Gintsu, uh, who I just saw was just sniping people in the face the entire time. And the other person I want to say, if they're still here, I mean, are they still here? Well, I th yeah, there he is. And Tom as well. Uh, Gintsu and Tom were actually, you know, I was watching Tom stabbing people up mercilessly. Really fun to watch, and same against the assassin class. They were on form. They were a delight to watch. Um, you know, also I mentioned to Tarek as well. I mean, when they were on different teams, against and Tarek was so much fun. On the same team, it was ridiculous. Don't get these guys in the same. You know, get getting these guys team up ever is not a good idea. Yeah, it hurts everyone. Like, put off some prime Megatron. Now, anyway. Thank you very much, guys. I had a really great time today. And, you know, please expect this uh, video up on YouTube, my, my YouTube channel, by uh, tomorrow morning or so, you know, roughly that time. Uh, also, if you want to, please visit the Steam group. Uh, that's, uh, you know, TF2 Public Ferret as well. So, you know, find me up there, find the Steam group, join that. And you can come over to Wednesday, my introduction gaming session. We should meet some nice guys there. And, you know, it should be fun and games and stuff like that. So we, could, we go on different maps things like that, so that's really fun. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll see you a lot later.